My choice. Yeah. Love. Aww. Of course it is. Money would help, but... <laughs> <laughs> and the people at home? Um, Charlene's on two. OK, Charlene, good morning. Good morning, Matthew. How love, are you? love or money? I'm going to have to go with money. <laughs> Definitely going to have to go with money. I mean, marrying for love is quite idealistic. I know it's a nice notion and everything, but it is quite idealistic. And even if you are with somebody you love, if you've got no money, it's going to put such a strain on the relationship mm. over time. If you can't pay the bills, if you can't afford to, you know, look after your children, you can't afford to put food on the table, how much is, how long is that love going to hold out? But money can really? destroy love as well. You know, there's a perfect example, like Viv Nicholson in the 60s. You know, she won all this money. Yeah. She was loved up. They had two quid That's left of their true. name. And they went, right, we're just going to spend and blow this whole two quid. You know, the wolf's banging at the door trying to, you know, get their That's money. And That's she went, let's point. just go out and celebrate. And it ruined her well, There's always one idiot that all ruins her, it for everyone she else, isn't it? went to a plethora it? of yes. husbands, you know. Mm. And the, the man she actually fell in love with died in a car accident because of money, fast cars, all of that, and couldn't control Good their point. lives. Good point. Good point. OK, uh, Charlene, we're losing this, I think. Thank you for the call. Let's have another. Uh, we have Kathy on line one. Kathy, good morning. Good morning. Love or money? Money. Definitely money. <laughs> um, I've, I've learned the hard way, basically. I married a man for love, and he was down and out on his luck, and we lived off, we lived off of my finances for months. And um, one morning I woke up and he left me a note saying... Although we don't have much money, I still love you. But he left three weeks later. So um, I've learned that now that I'm paying off all the debts that we accumulated together, definitely money. So he was with you for your money, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, basically. Mm. I hate that. So do I. Really I hate that. So but... next time round, I'll definitely be looking for a rich guy who but you, we but, can both put our money see, together. But you see, I don't see why you couldn't have both. Okay, so you're 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 not well off. So the, why he, he should have got a job. He should have. It's, yeah, you know, that's you, not you, the choice. The point is, well, isn't it, that you, that you, Kathy, married out of an ideal view of love. Yeah. But realistically, you married for one of a better word, a loser, really, or well, a ponce <laughs> scrounger. You know, I don't want to slag him off too much. I don't know the bloke. He sounds awful. <laughs> Basically, mm. well. Um, we both decided that I'll stop working so we can start having children. And um, as soon as I stopped working and he started working, he started to feel the strain of his money paying the bills and he left. So now we're going to have a divorce. <laughs> what a yeah. rat. <coughs> Kathy, thank that you for the call. Welcome Love or money. Welcome to the real world, darling. Yeah. I'm always thought maybe, like, sweetie. if people do marry for money, <laughs> what... Is, is there a thing where they kind of fall in love with that person anyway because they're a provider? It clearly can happen, can't it? You know, clearly can happen. I, I, there's I, know a, there's women a who transaction. Stay, I know women who stay in marriages where their husband is earning a great deal of money and they've got children, they've got a life and they've got a house and, you know, and they, they're frightened about being out. on their own and because they haven't worked for ten years, so how would they get a job? And, and they're trapped in a relationship which they are fundamentally unhappy with. Now, they yeah. either start going out with a salsa teacher or the, the uh, personal trainer or they've, the builder comes round and he stays a bit longer than he would otherwise do. That kind of stuff goes on and people look the other way and yes relationship it wouldn't be my choice no no great points i have to say from you guys and you guys at home thank you